one thing changed. It's your perception. And if you grog, you understand, you see that that simple perception has caused a lot of misery in your life. Acceptance of what is, being surrendered to what life provides versus having an idea of how life should be and how things should be. There's a big difference. Okay, so I'll take, if you have any questions, anybody wants to ask me any questions, you can either write it in the chat box or wave at me and I'll unmute you. Now, when we start to open up, and again, these are words, okay? So let's not get really caught up on, uh, on the words because it could be deceiving and it can throw you off of your rhythm when uh, you get very attached to words. So... And I don't want that. But I'm just going to continue this discussion and talk about this. But uh, again, don't hang on to the word. Use the word as a pointer. But don't get caught up with it. So we're doing this work. I'm working on myself. I want freedom means I want happiness and I want oneness with God, with, with existence. Uh, I want final self-realization. So I'm doing the work and I'm doing the work. I'm starting to expand. In this expansion, it's kind of like this illusion, this idea of Zarathustra as a separate person, it starts to dissolve. The idea that I have about myself, it starts to kind of fade away. And in this transaction, as I'm kind of fading away, what happens is it's opening up. This thing is opening up. So the idea of me being separated is going, it's dissolving. And in this opening up, it appears to be like the energy is coming in. More energy comes in. And, and an expansion is like my heart is opening up. I'm starting to feel. I'm not thinking so much. I'm feeling. And in this, I can start to feel like there's comfort. There's like acceptance. There's love something you, you you know the word love is overused but there's this presence there's this being something is surrounding me it's coming from within me it's around me and it's taking care of things something's very connected something knows everything so in the beginning uh, you're entering into this heart space this place it may be a little bit confusing, it may be exciting, it may scare you a little bit because you may feel like you're going to lose control, but as it's taking over, there's also this understanding comes in that, wait a minute, I'm starting to see like things are really falling into places and there's like a natural order to this. I didn't know about that. I thought I have to be in control of everything. I didn't know I can let go. And things still take care of themselves. I didn't know if I let go, still the planet is going to turn around itself. I don't have to make things happen. 
something else is doing it. And in that, I feel energetic because I'm becoming a channel. I'm getting out of the way and more energy is coming. And as more energy is coming, I start knowing things. I start being a lot more awake and aware. Or maybe I become, I feel a healing energy. Maybe I'm getting more psychic. Maybe I can, de I develop telepathic communication with other human beings or with the animals. Maybe I'm becoming an empath. Uh, I develop becoming clairsentient, claircognizant, or clairaudient, clairvoyant. So in this expansion, the expansion is happening, things start to appear. Things start to be available. Information is coming. An expansion or we can say you're raising your vibrations to a higher frequency and as you're rising your vibrations to this 5d quantum awareness frequency is in a way you feel like you're untouchable here everything was real here in this frequency the world is real, the world is mean, the world is not fair, there's mean people there, there's war, there's all kinds of things happening and uh, there's fighting for human rights and these people come and destroy the, the, the forest, they're killing all these animals, they're polluting the water, they're polluting the air. I'm very angry about these things. I get very passionate and very upset that life is so unfair and existence doesn't know what it's doing. Existence doesn't know what it's doing. I know the right way. I've only been around here for a few years, but I know more than existence. So as I'm expanding and opening, opening up, starting to trust existence and saying, okay, maybe this existence knows why it's killing so many animals or destroying the forests. Didn't the same existence create these forests? Didn't the same existent who's making the planet run around itself, uh, uh, turn around itself, create these animals? 